Hi everybody, it's uh, Miss Carrie from Be Me Kids. Um, I'm here for our Be Me Kids time today since we can't be in the schools. I miss seeing you all so much. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, stress and worry. Many things can cause us stress and worry, such as changes in school, uh, doing schoolwork from home, uh, problems with friends. Uh, maybe some of you are feeling worried and stressed with the changes that are happening uh, with school and during uh, the school time right now. Uh, so I thought I'd read a book today about uh, worry and stress. So it's called The Worry Ninja. And we'll see how the, the ninja handles his worry. And maybe we can grab some strategies from here and try them uh, on our own. Hopefully we can all see it okay, Worry Ninja. Everything will be fine, Mom, I said, as I offered my mother a gentle reminder. You're right, sweetie. Thank you. I'm able to stay calm even in the most worrisome situations. When I accidentally kicked the ball out of bounds instead of in the goal, I would simply say, better luck next time. If my new shoes were too big, I would think, at least I don't have to get another pair for a while. I'd throw into them. If I was picked last, I would exclaim, I see you saved the best for last. There was a smile on his face. I haven't always been so worry-free. Once upon a time, I could be really quite worrisome. A lot of thoughts going on in his head there. Worried a lot. When I was on a boat with my family, Negative thoughts would fill my head. What if I got swallowed up by sharks? What's the probability of that happening? Very, very low. During thunderstorms, I would worry. What if the lightning strikes our house? What if our house is washed away <clears throat> by all the floods? What if the lights go out again? That's often a worry that uh, my little guy, Brett, that I've talked about has. He doesn't like it when there's a big storm outside and hears the crashes and the lights and it's out of our control. There's nothing that we can do about that. During plane rides, I would think, what if something happens when we're in the sky? What if we crash? What if I can't find my mom or dad? Until one day, my friend, Zen Ninja, suggested I try a fun way to change my thinking. What you do is recognize a worry wheel in your head and stop it in its tracks. The worry wheel happens when you start to think of all the possible scenarios that might happen, but haven't happened, and probably won't happen. Like the shark. So here's our worry wheel here. So these might be some of the worries that we might have. My handwriting isn't very good. I'm going to worry that people are going to laugh at my hair. I'm worrying because I can't kick a ball straight. I worry that other people think that I'm not very clever or smart. I worry that people will say that my shoes are scruffy. What is everybody thinking? What if people laugh at me? Any of you had these worries before? Next, you ask yourself, is this something that I can control? So we have uh, some, some titles here. It says things I can't control and things that I can control. So when you're having those worrisome thoughts, it's going to either be in this category or this one here. So things that I can't control. The weather, like those storms that happen, taking classes online, or going to in-school or in-person school, so similar to your situations now, that we're not in the classrooms, that we're, we're at home learning, maybe, maybe that's causing some of you to worry. How much free time I have, not being invited to a birthday party, what others say or think, because we, uh, we can't control what other people are saying or what other people are thinking. So these are things that we can control. Sleeping, uh, sleeping well to stay strong and healthy, 
washing our hands, being kind, our attitude, and uh, telling others about how you're feeling. So it's important to always talk about that. These are things you can control. If you can't control it, let the worry go by taking a slow, deep breath in and out like you're pretending to blow a dandelion away. So take a deep breath in. Blowing it away. If you can control it, write it down what you're going to do about the worry. So that's when we start uh, problem solving. Then take a deep breath in and blow the worry away. So I tried it. I stopped the worry wheel from rolling in my head, determined that it was not something that I could control, and I took a deep breath in. Then I blew the worry away. And do you know what happened next? From that day on, I felt a lot less worrisome and a whole lot calmer. Using this circle of control and a dandelion strategy can be your secret weapon against worrisome thoughts. So what do we think of uh, Worry Ninja's strategy for a fun way to change his thinking? When the worry wheel starts turning in your head, stop and think to yourself if this is something that you can control. If it's something that you cannot control, let that worry go by taking the deep breaths in and out like you're pretending to blow out or blow a dandelion. If you can control it, write down what you're going to do about the problem and problem solve or talk to a trusted adult. Then take a deep breath in and blow it away. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I uh, hope to see you all really, really soon. Bye, take care.